Yeah, hello. Ever wondered what it's like to have sex with a balloon? Yeah, me neither. <laughs> Today we're gonna be meeting the buffoon man. I mean, the baboon man. I mean, the full moon man. I mean, the soup spoon man. I mean, the balloon man. And before we begin today's video, I'd like to thank today's sponsor, Balloons. Perfect for all occasions. Celebrating a birthday, Balloons. Celebrating an anniversary, Balloons. Having sex for the first time and don't have a condom, Balloons. Before inflating, gently stretch balloons. Gently pump with air or helium. It is important to not overinflate. If using helium, take extra care. We recommend rotating balloon while filling to spread pressure. This will help avoid popping balloons. Safety warning, small parts, choking hazard. Your girlfriend might choke. Since we are observing the balloon man today, I myself am gonna turn into the balloon man in a different way. Every time this man says or does something odd, <laughs> I myself will blow up a balloon and attach it to my body. Let's hope he doesn't get turned on looking at me. <laughs> my name is Julius. I'm 62 years old and I'm addicted to balloons. I have a connection with them. Intellectually, I know that balloons are not alive. Sometimes I wonder if it's my love for them that brings them to life. Intellectually, I think you're insane, bro. <laughs> God, half of this video is just gonna be me trying to tie these balloons. <laughs> the dude's talking like these balloons are like the inanimate objects in Beauty and the Beast and they're gonna come alive and fondle them or something. <laughs> come on, man. Julius has been addicted to balloons for over five decades. I'm sorry, five decades? That's 50 years. The dude looks 50. You're telling me he popped out of the womb and was like, <laughs> oh my God, blood. Uh, yeah, I don't even want to do it. <laughs> It started when he was a child as an innocent attraction to the shapes and colors. Now Julius has filled his home with over 50,000 balloons and can't sleep unless he's surrounded by them. You know, when I was his age, I was asking kids like what their new bionicle was. You know, I would never imagine a kid coming up to me and be like, hey man, nice balloons. <laughs> Can I touch him? Like imagine inviting this guy to your birthday and everyone's sitting around singing happy birthday and you're blowing out the candles and you see this one dude in the corner staring at the balloons. Julius, you gotta go home. I love all balloons, but I do have my favorites. I like the crystal clear, the, the transparent. You know, it's like a soap bubble, you know, you can see through it. Like a guy that prefers blondes or brunettes, you know? Yeah, I'm sorry, man. I don't think that's the same thing. An entire room dedicated to balloons. This is my balloon sanctuary. Sanctuary? You mean his bedroom? I have uh, magenta, purple, yellow, blue, red, and clear. And uh, I don't have many white ones, but I try to put the white ones in there like there's a white one over there. My guy discriminating on the white balloons. <laughs> yeah, I fill all the quotas. I got all the balloons. I got a red balloon, orange balloon, magenta balloon, black balloon, green balloon. White balloon? Yeah, 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 yeah. I just stuck them behind some of the green balloons. One of my favorite balloons is the weather balloon. It's probably one of the softest balloons I've got. For me, it's the bigger the better. You can say it's more to love. Yeah, well, at least I'm with you on that one. Bigger the better, am I right? <laughs> I'm kidding. Size doesn't matter. But Julius's obsession with balloons goes beyond shapes and colors. My love for balloons, it's also a sexual love. When I see a, a beautiful balloon, my heart starts to flutter, and I get aroused. I'll take a 12-inch, and I'll inflate it to 11-inch. That way, it can take a lot of abuse. Okay, firstly, I'm not gonna lie, the way you handled blowing up that balloon was hella skillful. I'm, I'm pretty impressed. However, I didn't need the uh, excessive detail on your sexual fantasies, man. He takes in a 12-inch balloon and blows it down to 11 inches so it can take more abuse. Hey, man, I thought you were making love to these balloons, man, not abusing them. <laughs> I'm holding one, you know, hugging it. I'll kiss it. And that's like being in heaven. I mean, don't you like to hug and kiss a woman that you love? <laughs> hug and kiss a woman I love? Hell yeah. Hug and kiss a balloon I love? Fuck it. <laughs> you know, I know my mind isn't wired the same, but I just, I just can't see the appeal. It's like me being in love with this KFC bucket. Though the Colonel looking good today. <laughs> There's gotta be a name for these kind of people. There's lots of people out there that feel the same way as I do about balloons. But there's two groups. You got your poppers and you got your non-poppers. Ah, he's a Luna. That's a word I didn't need to learn today. <laughs> now I understand the whole popping thing. Not, not the idea that you get aroused by it, but it's like a satisfying feeling. But to be aroused, that's a little different. 
So if he's a non-popper and he gets aroused by, you know, just sexually abusing a balloon, what would happen if he heard a balloon pop? Does he think that the balloon is dying? Like it's the death of the balloon? Uh, 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 why? Oh. Sound of a balloon popping devastates Julius. I'll go to car dealerships and um, do what I call a balloon rescue. I'm sorry, balloon rescue? My guy, if you're gonna spend all this effort rescuing balloons, you might as well rescue some people that actually need help, like some homeless people. You're pretty much voiding your initial statement saying that intellectually you know they're not alive, yet you're talking about rescuing them as if they have a life to rescue. Ah. The only people that know is my family. My wife thinks it's strange, but she accepts it. I'm sorry, what? Your, your wife? You have a wife? You see, now, this changes everything. I thought this guy was just some random dude with some random ass obsession with balloons. But no, my man's made. He got a partner and everything, and she's fully cool with him and his weird obsession. Now, my next question is, where does your wife sleep? Because if you're sleeping in your little balloon sanctuary every night, where is she sleeping? Do you guys have a bedroom together? Shouldn't a married couple sleep together, stay together? If she's cool with the balloons, that's fine, right? But... To me, it seems like you want to be in that room by yourself because you're going to get a little bit freaky. <laughs> Honey, it's time for bed. Come to bed. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm coming. I'm coming. Babe, where are you? I mean, we've been in bed for ages. <laughs> she did not want to be known as the balloon man's wife. The fact that he feels like he has to keep it a secret definitely points to that there is a... Uh, problem. I see nothing wrong with loving balloons, not hurting anybody, and I have no desire to change. If you're consciously keeping a secret, surely somewhere in your mind you know that it's it's somewhat strange. Like, I'm not judging you, dude. Like, there's heaps of weird-ass people in the world. You loving some balloons? Probably not the weirdest thing I've seen today. But I'm not trying to tell you to go out there and be loud and proud with your balloon loving antics, but... At the same time, I'm sure you can tell it's a little bit excessive, especially when you have your family member, who's an addiction counselor, ironically, trying to get you to find some help. That's... that's sus, man. I feel like your wife told you it's all good, but is it really all good? Today, his nephew, who's also an addiction counselor, wants to confront the issue and convince Julius to see a therapist. I've heard through the family about your balloon. Bro, the only person that would ever rat you out for your little obsession here is your wife. Your wife doesn't want to be filmed. She says she's okay with it. Clearly, she's not okay with it. At first, I'm sure she thought it was some kind of freaky kink, you know, they're gonna play with some balloons, but later she realized that she ain't gonna get some for a long, long time. When I inflate them, it seems like they come to life for me. Intellectually, I know that balloons are not alive. There's sexual overtones to it. It's all of it. It's all of it. It's the feel, the smell, and I don't want to go any further into that. What well, that happens between me and my balloons, stay with me and my balloons. It's none of your damn business, Niff. Mm -hmm. Ever think that maybe there's something wrong? Nope. Do you think you'll ever give it up? Nope. No. No. Definite no. Definite no. <laughs> My guy was so confident with that answer. Do you think you'll ever give it up? Nope. Nope. Hell no. Not in a million years, baby. I'm gonna be having sex with these balloons in my grave. Bury me in a bunch of balloons, baby. You know what? Build a life-size balloon, shove me in the balloon, inflate it up, and I'm gonna have an eternal orgasm. <laughs> wow. So how long have you been doing how many years all together do you have collecting these balloons oh collecting them i started when i was about eight you spend a lot of time and energy during the day with them no or just sometimes come up go up and you spend a lot of time and energy with these balloons do you see them often do you go up and do a little bump and grind every now and then no yes no mm. it's like he's meeting his uncle for the first time no one knew about this until maybe his wife said something about it he's been doing it for like he said over 40 years and yet he's only confronting him and trying to get him to see a th therapist now i feel like he either knew about it for a little bit of time but only knew the depth of it now now that he was informed that's just this is crazy man wow is it does it cost a lot of money doing this no 
I don't think so. Uh, That's what I wanted to know too. What does this guy do for a living? How can he do this all day, every day as his job, as his hobby? Unless he's a retired man with wealth. Then okay, I can see you got a little bit of a hobby, you know, and you, you spend your money and time doing this. But you've been doing it for 40 years. Uh, what? Is your sexual life really just that dull that you need some balloons to spice it up? Oh. Oh. Even right now, I feel uncomfortable, man. Please don't look at me sexually, okay? There's people that spend more money uh, buying guns. What a weird comparison. I'm not for guns or anything like that, but in your country, it's quite accessible. To do things like this, I feel like it's a, it's a little bit more of an effort. I guess you're trading in the money side of things for the effort. It's not like you're gonna kill anybody with a balloon. Yeah, they make the same popping sound, but you don't even pop them, so... Can you really compare it to guns? <laughs> I don't have a problem. I don't have a problem. Right, right. So why be concerned? Everybody's trying to make me think like I got a problem. I yeah. don't. Yeah. Give it up. These questions that I ask, they're just strictly out of love. Would you be willing to go and, and, and talk to somebody? Okay. It's all out of love. I'm concerned about you. I've been watching from a distance. Your wife has been telling me stories. I heard you've been putting your pee-pee in places that pee-pee should never touch. In fact, these holes are so small, I'm surprised that you put your pee-pee in them. What is going on? Listen, uncle, I'm only concerned. Would you be open to talking to someone? Huh? Oh. Uh, okay. This guy has given up on his nephew. He was interested at first when his nephew was asking about his obsession. You know, he's like, oh, yeah, yeah. I use powder. I look after him. I rescue them. And I love them. They come to life to me. I love having sex with balloons. And then after he, he kept trying to imply that he needed help and he needed to talk to someone about it, my man's soul left the body, bruh. He done left that conversation. <laughs> I've seen a psychologist before, and about the only thing he said to me is, you're not hurting anybody, so why worry about it? I see nothing wrong with loving balloons, and I'm gonna continue to love balloons because that's what makes me happy. Hey, yo, big ups to Julius, man. I mean, look, I'm gonna be real with you, bro. It's exactly what you said. You're not harming anybody, and it's something you love, you enjoy, and you're not causing a nuisance to anyone in, the, in your life. Well, except for probably your wife, and this is why there's an episode about it. <laughs> to each their own. There's some weirder people out there. There's someone out there who hoards poop in their house, and their house is literally falling apart due to mold and dust and evidently poop. You're not the weirdest guy out there, okay? I'll give you that. It's clear that since a video is being made about this, it's obvious that there is some sort of concern from people. And I think you have a responsibility to take those people's feelings into account. Although, back to my first point, yeah. Do whatever you want. I mean, I get that these little nipple-like booby things <laughs> could probably turn you on, but I, I don't know, man. In conclusion, I think you should talk to some of your family members and then may maybe get another hobby. Although, is it considered cheating that you have sex with your balloons and not with your wife? Hmm. And well, that's the video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave your comments down below. I want to hear your thoughts. Do you think this guy should get some help? Or do you think he should keep banging balloons? <laughs> If you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like. And if you want to see more content like this, you can help the channel out and subscribe. Otherwise, that's me. I'm Balloon Man LV.